Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth. How are you doing today? Live chat, hello Miss Pam. Um, let me turn that off today because it's not too terribly hot. Oop, that volume is working, yay. So I thought I would do a little bit of a, uh, a floral card, but a little bit more steps involved. Um, I was just thinking how fun it would be to do a little bit of embossing, some die cutting, all that fun stuff. So let's get started. Today I am using Sketched Florals by Simon Hurley. It's a lovely um, stencil. Uh, sorry, you can get the stencil to color in the mason, or, yeah, mason jars, the vases. Um, but Sketched Florals has these beautiful florals, the vases. And we're going to do some fun with the vase and one of the florals. And we're going to do a fun little background with a pinstripe and tiny circles. Both are also by Simon Hurley and can be found at the Crescent Creation Shop. Um, yeah, so you're also going to need a piece of acetate that you can run through a laser printer. Um, laser printers get hot, so they make the acetate for those that withstand some heat and we need this heat safe so that it will um, take the heat tool just fine we're going to need a piece of scrap paper so we can stamp our one flower and i have here a piece of run over paper <laughs> it fell on the floor i ran it over <laughs> and then we're going to pull out your stackable dies if you don't have stackable dies no worries what you're going to want to do is just make yourself some rectangles um, and you might um, skip the the one step but if if you have these I would get your um, bigger one and then a step or two down so you can have a little bit of a border okay and that is gonna be our background Ooh, with the pinstripes and polka dots okay so we're gonna cut our background with that and then we're gonna cut a couple of squares of color and again we're just gonna use our scrap of paper for these and we're gonna do direct to paper with our ink so um, yeah I just picked three different sizes all from the same set you know you can get these pretty much anywhere Hello, Dawn, how are you? So, whether you're using a black card base, a white card base, it doesn't matter, but you do want to have your card base. So, I think today I'm going to use the white. So, I've got my card base. I've got my main card panel, which we're going to pop up on our card front okay and let's go ahead and ink this lovely up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna ink it before we stamp it with the pinstripe oh, love this pinstripe look at it. it's so pretty and I'm thinking of doing a red um, yeah, I think I want to do this flower in a red. So we're going to pick some colors that are going to go with red. And my red I'm using today, I'm using my Simon Hurley inks. You're going to use whatever inks you love. So this is going to be my flower. So let's do a lovely flower. Let's do a little bit of triple berry a little bit of clear skies and no I changed my mind because we can do that not triple berry we're gonna go with pink rosy cheeks clear skies 
and a little bit of tropical. I'm really loving tropical tango these days. I don't know why. It's a beautiful color. But this is going to be my background colors. Just three fun colors. Okay, and we're going to use these for our little strips. Okay, we're going to bring these colors back out and use them on our little strips. Okay. Airbrush. Yeah, just use the ear. Yeah. I uh, haven't given any thought to a snack. What? Yeah, that's a little bit shocking. I better move my little um, card base before I make a mess. So how do I want to do my colors? I think I'm going to do the pink in the middle because it's going to do some fun stuff with both the colors. And we're going to grab pink, green, and blue brushes, and my rag, because I want to make sure I get more of a true color of my rosy cheeks. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take some rosy cheeks. Uh-oh, why are we blurry? There we go. Don't be blurry. Okay, we're going to... Oops, there's a little bit of something, something there. That's all right. We'll flip that over. We're going to take a rosy cheeks. It's a nice, soft, soft color. But we're just going to load it up. As we load it up, it'll get brighter. Or not brighter, but more visible. So soft. Look at how pretty that is. So how are you lovelies doing today, Miss Dawn and Pam? Doing some fun stuff today. I myself just got up a little bit ago. Been kind of lazy last few days although I feel like I was lazy yesterday but I actually got a lot of stuff done I made some cards did my live um, worked on my wreath some more it's almost done I'm super excited now sometimes you know certain colors and I probably have to re-ink this um, pad sometimes it takes a little bit to build the color up and there's nothing wrong with that oh my goodness look at that that nice beautiful band of pink through there sorry about the shadow lines my overhead is not the best light but there is a beautiful streak of pink right through there so we're going to get some clear skies. Again, I want it more true. So I'm going to clean my brush. And this is how I clean them. I don't wash them. I've had these. Whew, I've had these for some time. Let me tell you. But I don't wash them. And you can always check your brush. Okay. You flip it over. Give it a test. If no color comes off, then it's a clean brush. Um, trying to take it easy. Yeah, because she's got a bad shoulder. Ms. Down. Okay. I'm going to come in. I'm going to be heavier at the top. And then lighten up the closer I get to my pink. So I can have this nice light color. I'm almost wondering if my triple berry or the tropical tango might be a little too bright, but... We'll see. Lovely. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Lovely, lovely. Okay. 
Um, cortisone. Oh, cortisone shot. Never had one of those. I've never had a cortisone shot either. I know people who have and are really thankful for them. My shoulder has been acting up mainly because I <laughs> did some overreaching. Okay, and now we're just going to put a little bit of ink right into the pink. So they do a nice happy merge. And we can see some purple starting to develop there. Now I might get some brown when the tropical tango hits the pink, but I'm trust me, I'm not going to be sad about it because it'll still be beautiful. Okay, so we've got that. Hey Jean, how are you doing, dear? Okay, and then we're going to grab our green brush. And again, we're going to check our brush, make sure it's clean. Look at that. No residue. Let's grab some tropical tango. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Just pull it. I'm going to let it build up on the edge and then just pull it in softly. And using a glass mat, okay, what happens is when you tap, you get this all built up. There's a lot of ink. You tap it off and then when you start pulling it in, you make a big swooshes and you're going to come back into the glass and grab that extra ink. So you don't have to re-ink as much because you're still pulling in ink. Okay, see we're just adding and it's ever so faint, ever so faint until you want it darker. Then you grab a little bit more. Okay. And you do little buildups of color. That way there you have more control of that light and dark that you want to build. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that combination. But I do feel I need it a little bit darker with the blue. So we're going to wipe up any residue that we have. We're going to grab our blue. And we don't need to clean the brush because that's all we've been using. I'm going to make sure my fingers are clean before I... <laughs> touch my paper and then I'm just going to build up a little bit more of the darker in the corner here and see this is how we have that control because you can always go back and make it darker but you can't always go in and make it lighter oh see that and we're going to trim some of that border so we might have to go back in and darken the edges but uh, that'll be all right. Now we're going to use the same three colors again. <laughs> we're going to add some polka dots before we add our pinstriping. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm going to do tropical tango. Get my little polka dots here. This is just going to be some fun tone on tone. So we're going to do um, tropical tango in tropical tango. And we're just lightly, we just barely put any ink on the brush. Okay. We're not going to move anything. We're going to grab that luscious, softy, softy pink. Okay. We're going to put that right over. And we're going to blend it right over everything. Okay. Now we're going to hold it down here. And we're going to pick up a little bit of that blue. Oops. Stick your finger in it. And we're just going to basically like clean our brush. And there it is. Look at our polka dots. Oh my goodness. And that didn't take much because there's so much ink when you're running over a stencil. You just, um, you're pushing harder. 
okay because you're not afraid of leaving the marks so it's gonna let you add more color through your stencil now we're gonna ink our background and we're gonna put those stripes right over the top but I'm thinking maybe just a couple of stripes I don't know if I want all of it stripity so we're gonna add some stripes there and some stripes there yeah I think Ooh, that's gonna be fun okay and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one of the colors to be the dominant and I think it's gonna be tropical tango so what we're gonna do is oh I need a bigger block these don't exactly fit I think it that's enough pressure yeah okay as long as we get pressure on the part that's going to cover the card that'll be good ink this up now if you see marks when you're adding your ink those marks will show up okay so you can brush it on tap it on Okay, really load up the ink. Nice and juicy. Okay, very little marks, so that's going to be gorgeous. Now I'm going to just set that where I want that. give nice firm even pressure let them say hello to each other for a, a few seconds oh look at that oh isn't that just gorgeous oh i'm afraid now i don't know if i want to add the other stripe sometimes our vision because i had a vision of doing stripes over the whole thing but then the polka dots look really, really cute or tiny circles. And now I'm like, do I want to add more or do I just want to add another band? I'm thinking I'm just going to add another band right here because I'm afraid to cut that. You know what I mean? Ooh, that would be fun if we did a little bit this way too like a little envelope kind of thing oh, hmm. <laughs> yeah Pam says the top stripe if we did a stripe up here maybe it should be blue It's just paper. Let's do that. Let's put that one in blue. Because if we don't like it, you know, we can just do it again. Because it really doesn't take that long. But another option I just was envisioning is if we fill this part with some pinstripe. And then it takes some pinstripe up this way. And then you have this neat little V going on. But that's another, that's another card. Absolutely. So we're going to take our same color. Probably not over that. We're going to load this bad boy up with some clear skies. Ooh, Pam, right? Simon's got a new release coming this, this coming Monday. After this weekend, he's got some uh, new ink colors. It would be nice if his new stamping block... Because he's working on it. He's already stated he's working on the new stamping blocks. I need them. Especially for pinstripe. Okay. So we're going to take our clear skies. And I am going to try and visually <laughs> make sure it lines up with my first stripe. It does not have to be perfect. Um, but yeah. There we go. <laughs> Plop it. 
they just let him go by. They didn't even say anything to him. We already home down did the discernment. We were concerned he would get pulled over because of the noise. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah, so uh, Pam is talking about um, her catalytic converter was stolen off of her car. And it makes your car really, really obnoxious and loud. And it's a noise ordinance and it's illegal to drive because, you know, it helps clean the air and other stuff. Oh, God, look at it. But uh, hers was stolen. And so they went to go get it fixed and she says they had their window down and the cops directing traffic. Uh, um, one of them said that there's no catalytic converter. <laughs> yeah, sounded like a Harley. Yeah, so they, they sneak in at night. They do this CV. They have a... A pattern and they can steal your stuff quickly so you don't even know it it's really scary okay so we're gonna do all of our die cutting in a minute so that we don't have to pull out our machine a bunch of times but I just kind of want to see show you guys what we've done we've made our background and we're going to trim our background. Now this larger rectangle is going to trim this off. So we're going to have a cute little white border on our card base. And then we're going to cut it again on the inside. Because what we're going to do is we're going to glue this part down flat. And then we're going to pop this center piece up. And it's going to be really cool. So that's, we need two for this but you can also do this with a trimmer you know you can mark off your little points and trim out the center if you have one of those kind of trimmers but i've got the dies so i'm going to use the dies now part of our fun we're going to put shapes of color in here so i want to use um these to grab some color and so these just have to be little scraps of paper nothing fancy see that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my scissors and remember my scrap of paper it's not a waste because I done run it over I runneth <laughs> I runneth over the paper when it hit the floor so I'm just gonna cut out a chunk me and my shakies here pardon me so there's my little chunk so I can color this up and be fabulous let's grab another little chunk actually let's switch that because I cut that one kind of short we'll put that one there we'll put this one here okay so there's our little papers and we're going to cut this one right here okay so we're gonna die cut these but we're gonna add some color to them and I'm thinking uh, da, 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 da. since my pink is not I think I'm gonna use that one is the rosy cheeks we're gonna do that one in that one and then we'll do that one in that one okay Maureen hello hello okay so we're just gonna do ooh, just a fun I don't need that there I'm just now these are different. I if you've ever watched like Catherine Pooler use hers, it covers fully. 
Now these are a little bit drier. It's a different pad altogether. So you can get some fun designs. See that? It's not perfect. And you either be okay with that or you can use your ink blending brush, get it more perfect, however you wanna do it. Mine is artsy, so that's what I'm going for. Now there is quite a bit of blue, so pardon me. I'm gonna actually do a good cleanup on this. Okay, we're gonna squirt it and pick up the blue. And see it's nice and blotchy add some more water pick that up okay get that color picked up and I'm just gonna set that there we're gonna pull out our next color and we're gonna add our tropical tango in there oh man isn't that pretty? Just make sure it's going to be. Oh, yeah. Just get rid of that little. Ooh, wee. I think that's going to be gorgeous. I think I want one more line through there, though. There we go. Mm. Yeah, I like that. So we'll put that there. Get this over here okay we're gonna hose this down again same piece of paper I see some white some white some white so we're gonna really focus on those areas Get those white areas not so white anymore okay and now we're gonna go in with our rosy cheek piece and that is quite a bit. Make sure you do haircuts on these guys. You don't want any stragglers hanging out. So we're just gonna add a little bit of color there and oh yeah look at that mm -mm -mm. so that one's ready to cut I don't know if we had any pink didn't really look like anything was left behind but we'll just give a little wipe okay so there's that now these pieces, okay, I'm only doing one card. If you need to do a lot of cards, what you can do is pattern paper, okay? You just get a pretty pattern paper and then some solid color papers and maybe you stencil on the solid color papers and cut your little pieces out. There's lots of ways to make this a lot quicker, okay? Oh, I love that. That's gonna sit up there and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and scooch these guys out of my way. Okay, my pinstripes, they don't come numbered or anything, but what I did is I did number mine as I was taking them apart. So I could always put it back together the way it was purchased, okay? Oops, so that way there. I don't know. I don't know if it really matters, but there. that is how mine is. And then we're going to need our scrap of paper for one of our flowers. And remember, I wanted a red flower. So this is the one I wanted to do in red right there. And I'm going to stamp this in a nice, beautiful black. And since I'm embossing the vase, I think I'll emboss this too. So we're going to get our embossing goodies out. Our little embossing powder. 
Ugh. Should have shook that in the garbage beforehand. Holy moly. Leaving a lot of residue. Residue! Residue-don't. Please. Let's clean that up. Throwing card bases around. That works. Okay. So we got a little bit of powder on there. We got our little ink. Ugh. This is Versafine Claire in a Nocturne. You're gonna use whatever black that you have that embosses really nicely. Or maybe you just stamp it. Maybe you don't even wanna emboss it. Those are your options. Okay. But Versafine Claire stays um, damp enough for the powder to stick. And we're going to put some powder on that. And I am using a coffee filter to catch See that? Look at that. No extras. For whatever reason, the powder does not stick to the coffee filter. I mean, it cleans up really nice. And I use the same coffee filter for a long time. Now I'm going to use my heat tool and set this. Um, all you do is heat it until it turns glossy. It goes from a dull matte to a glossy, and that is when it is beautifully heat set. And we have that section ready. Then we have our heat safe. Okay. So what we're going to do is... Um, 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 um. I think I want to do this in a white. I've done this in a white before. Let's get the white out. Let's get the Versa mark out. And let's clean this so we can use our stamping block. Hey, Crystal. How's it going? So we're going to clean this. Now, my heat safe is just transparency made for a brother or a laser printer. Any printer that heats up and needs that special, special um, defense against the heat. Let's see. I think I want to do, I think I want to do this jar. I love this. We get all these options for these jars. So I'm going to use this jar, okay, and I'm just going to cut it out. So I'm going to leave my thing right there. I'm going to stamp it right there. Get that super nice and inky, okay. Now we're going to be careful because we don't want to slide it across. So we're going to set it down nice and gingerly. And I just, I just moved it. So we're going to clean that. We're going to try that again. We're going to set it down and not move it. Because it's ink. It's going to slide all over. Okay. Let that sit there for a second. <laughs> Defense against the dark arts. Yes. So we're going to lift that very easily. And we're 
gonna pour our powder on, make sure we got a good Oh, I forgot to use anti-static. Eh! You know what? That might be actually fun. Hold on a second. Let me think on that. Let me think if I really want to clean that or let it melt into there. It might be fun. It might be fun. It might be fun. I don't know. Let me think. Let me think. I think I'll clean a little bit. So in order to clean, you just get a paintbrush and we're going to swipe As Dora would say, swiper, stop swiping. No. The powder is really interesting. It will cling to your brush, so you don't need to get it too close to your line. There we go. And then I'm going to leave the speckles. I'm going to leave the specks in the center. Okay, so let's get this. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, I warmed it on the top, I warmed it on the bottom, and then I went through because you. Even if it is heat safe transfer, I missed a little spot. It's matte right there. It's not glossy. Um, you don't want to hold the heat on it. Okay, you want to keep it moving. And you're just going to look for for it to get shiny and it's going to be hard what you're going to want to do is really focus on the line and when you move the line is it shiny or is it matte and when it's matte it looks kind of um yeah it looks kind of uh, sandy still it looks like it's still sandy but look at that that uh, Oh, we got black, black. Let's put that on black. So you can see those little specks. Sometimes they can work in your favor. And this is one of those times. Sorry, I keep throwing things all over the place. Like, I know what I'm doing. Okay. So we're going to grab... Um, this is the back side now, okay? Here's the front. Here's the back. We're just going to take either a little bit of alcohol ink... Um, whatever you have handy, okay? And I'm just going to take a little teeny bit of this. Oops. Uh, and don't mind if it goes all over because, look, it wipes right up. A little bit of alcohol color. A little bit of alcohol. Okay. And a little puffin. We need a little bit of puffing. Okay. And again, we don't mind if it goes outside. I don't want it very... Oops. Put the color away too soon. We don't mind if it, like, goes outside because it'll wipe right up. Plus, we're going to trim this out. So, we don't mind. Okay, little little bitty puffs. Just get that in there. Get a little bit more blue there. Frosted jar. Yeah, isn't that cool? 
Now we're inking the back side, not the front side, because if I ink the front side, that white's not going to be white anymore. Okay. So there's that. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to got string stuck on there. I'm going to take a little bitty spot on my rag, a little bit of the alcohol, and I'm just going to clean up Okay, just gonna clean up just like that. That way there when I trim, just like normal fussing cutting, you can trim right to the edge or leave a little border. And I'm gonna leave a little border. But see now we've got this hint of blue in there, although the white kind of hides it. So that's all right, we're gonna add some more blue darken it up there we go just like that okay find our little spot in our rag give another little wipe okay let that dry And I'm finding that is just a little bit too much. So we're going to take some of that off. Get a little alcohol on here. So we went from liking the white frosty stuff to disliking the white frosty stuff. And we just use a little bit of alcohol to clean that right off. Have that frosty bit just on the edges. Here we go. Ooh, I like that much better. There. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, we'll cut this piece out just like fussy cut, and I'm just going to leave a little bit of a border. And then I'm going to put my heat safe piece right back in its container. There's our little jar. Oh, you guys, look at our little jar. You can see the lines and the polka dots through there. So cute. Okay, there's our jar. It's all ready to go. Put that back on. Put that in the garbage hole. Bethany, hello, hello. Okay, and then we go to our flower which we do need to fussy cut that little gem out after we do some coloring. And I wanted mine this beautiful red. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a water brush if I can find one. Sorry. My water brush is empty. Just load it up. Okay. Uh, am I back? I think I'm back. It says it's connected, it's running. And no, it's in the swirly swirly again. Mm. 
Okay, I think it's back. Okay, so you can get your reinker out, put a tiny drop down, or you can just grab the corner of your thing and put a little bit down. You don't need a ton. Okay, we got some water on one side. I'm gonna grab, oh, just grab that. And I want it nice and rich on the ends. Okay, so I'm gonna go full, full color on the tips here. Ooh, look at that. And I don't mind if I go out of the lines. That is never my concern. My concern. <laughs> my concern going outside the lines. Okay. I just want it nice and rich around the edges. So I'm going to do that a couple of times. Nice full strength. Um, we're going to do a little bit of full strength in the centers on those dark lines. And then we're going to thin it out with some water. Although I feel like this is really watery. And then we're just going to color it in. Now, if you don't wet your paper beforehand, it may just soak it in there. And that's okay, depending on what you're going for. Just soak that in there. Go in a little bit darker. See that? I'm just... There we go. Oh, look at that. Ooh wee. Nice and dark, nice and dark. All right, so then we have just a teeny puddle to clean up. Easy peasy. Clean your brush just like any other brush. Just give it a little swishy swish. Swooshies. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, we need some green. Don't put that away. We're going to use the darker fake plant because after we add some water, it's not going to be so dark. in our greenery and since we went out of the lines on there we're just gonna go out of the lines on there follow that down that and that's a way to add some color is just to do a line of color next to the solid black see that we just do a thin line of color next to that solid black purposefully go out of the lines when you accidentally go out of the lines and it will all look purposeful. <laughs> How do you like that? Do a little swishy swish. Clean that right off. Okay, fussy cutting time. wiggles and lumps you don't have to follow exactly use the paper as your steering wheel okay now i left it kind of fat on this side so that when I go over on this side, I can get it kind of thinner because we do have that little bit of color right there. Okay. And then we actually have some stem that we can hang on to. And wrap that around. Now I'm going to go in a little bit closer. 
So out those big voidy areas. And swoop. Gotta concentrate guys, gotta concentrate, sorry. too close right there but that's okay peel that out and look we've got a beautifully cut flower in our beautiful red okay let me put some of these colors back that is love struck that goes up there clear skies Okay, so we have our components. Now we just needed to do some choppy chop with our die cutting machine. So we're gonna switch components here. We're gonna get our big guy out. Ugh. Scooch you out of the way. Oops. So I'm using my Spellbinders Platinum today. Yay me. Okay. <sighs> the home stretch, you guys. The home stretch. So I do need some washi tape. Okay. And I'm going to cut it so that I can see it. So I'm going to use my cutting plate. And you guys are going to do whatever works for you. I'm going to do my paper and then my die cut blades down. Now this is why I need the washi tape. I need these to stay put. Okay. I'm going to cut this. I'm just going to eyeball it. Make sure it looks pretty darn good. I'm only going to tape. I'm going to tape those right in place there. Okay, I don't need it squirming around. Okay. Put that on there. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to eyeball the center. I do want it to look as decent as possible, right? And then I'm going to loosen this tape. I don't want it accidentally ripping my paper below. Because I'm using both parts. Even though I'm cutting out a center, I am using both parts. So that's why I want this piece to look pretty even. Okay. And hot dog, that does look pretty even. So we're going to pray it stays in place right there. Okay, now we're going to get our little chunks. That's why we got the big, the big piece out, right? Get that one. These are our little rectangles of color that we're going to use. And I want that section. Okay. And then like so okay so those are ready to go make sure that still hasn't moved it looks really good we're gonna put our cover on okay 
Gosh, that looks really even. Hot dog. Look at me go. Go through, go through. All right. Woo hoo. Okay, now I don't want to lose how this was put together. We're going to peel our tape off nice and easily because, like I said, we're using both the parts. Oops. Okay. So we'll get the tape off of that. We're going to set that right there. We're going to set those there. Get our little rectangles out. Oh, we got that tape all over the place. Okay, come here, you. Actually looks cute on there. Okay. So we got those guys all chopped up and ready to go. We'll set that out of the way. And now we can assemble. Card assemble. Crease, flip, fold. We got our card base here. There's that. <laughs> you guys ready for this? I actually think I'll use a thin one. Okay. So this is our card. Get that off of there. We don't need that just yet. We're going to put this frame on first. Nice thin layer of glue. Don't need a heap. Oops. Drive a straight line. That might work. Okay. Get that cleaned up. at me getting that mostly centered hot dog okay look at that cute little border you could totally just do that for a project love that okay get this little piece pulled out of there now this piece we're gonna pop up we're gonna pop that center piece our focal base so we just need to find our thoughts fatty thoughts um i have some one inch foam tape that makes this process way fun and easy look at that okay so, and then one piece down the center, like so. Doink. Look at that. Okay. Now, I want this to be in there pretty darn good. So, I'm only going to peel half of this. Okay. I'm going to flip the sides out like so. Make sure this center piece is pulled down so I can grab it from the bottom. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure you know we don't want it off centered, we want it centered where it's supposed to be. Ooh. Now it's going to be a little tricky because you are going to see some white. 
but it's gonna be fabulous. Oh, that piece closed back up. That's all right, we'll do that. And look at, ooh, how fun is that? Oh, look at, see how that stands up right in there? How cute. Okay, and then here's our little chunky pieces that we made. Okay, I'm thinking something like that. A little artsy, a little artsy fartsy for our flower. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so let's glue those down. We're just going to glue these pieces down flat. Okay. And these, these chunky pieces can be anything. They could be stars. They could be hearts. They could be squares, circles, hexagons, whatever. Just a little abstracty piece in there, but you're using the same colors. We're using the rosy cheeks. We're using tropical tango and clear skies all the same colors okay that's what's so great about this not too many colors okay not a lot of thinking just pick three colors that you think will go together like so okay that then we're gonna get our flower in there just like so And then because we did do this with um, acetate, you could get your clear tape, you could do whatever you feel like. I am just gonna go right around the edges with my glue. It will take a little bit longer to dry, but I didn't have any problems the last time I glued a piece down, okay? And then we're just going to put this right there. Okay. In case any glue escapes, I'm just going to press it there. Yeah, no lunar paste today. Oh my goodness. And there we have it. It takes a little bit longer for the prep time okay but once you have your dimensions down like you know maybe this is a specific cut um, you don't even have to uh, cut the center out you could do a background paper pop something up over the top of it and then add some color in there these could be totally patterned papers okay this could be a shape. This could be an oval. You don't have to use rectangles. You know, um, you could do a fun pattern paper, a really big fun shape, and then little shapes on the inside with your focal piece. But today we use Simon Hurley's sketched bouquet, or no, sketched florals. Sketched bouquet is a different stamp sketched florals it comes with faces it comes with the flowers and um we used just some ink on paper for these guys and then we did pinstripe also by simon hurley and tiny circles is the stencil we used also by simon hurley and all three lovely products are in the crescent creation shop which is linked down below for you so you can go grab yours if you like. Ah, so versatile. And could you imagine, you can make this card so many times because 
um, you know, you can change this particular set. has got one, two, three, four different flowers. So you can make four similar cards and just change out the flower. Add some greenery. Maybe you want some more in there. So you stamp this a few times and then tuck it in behind any of these. The different jars. Maybe you like this flower, but you can't make up your mind on the jar. Just change the jar. If you don't have acetate and heat embossing, you can definitely um, use packaging. Okay. Maybe just cut out the shape. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay. Yeah, they're chatting in the chat. It's really cute. Okay. So there it is. I thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. And uh, we will see you here next Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And we will be making something new with the products I purchased at Crescent Creation. Thank you all so much. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.